chat. For everybody that didn't see, there was some Twitch controversy today slash yesterday. So I am going to break down this new controversy that happened on Twitch yesterday slash today because it is uh, a huge shock to everyone. So here we go. Pokimane received a four to eight hour ban. Why is that? Well, she decided to stream for 12 hours in a row just watching Avatar The Last Airbender. So that being said, here is a huge news flash and shock to everybody. You can't stream yourself watching a TV show for 12 hours straight for thousands of viewers without the rights. Controversy summed up. I don't know why people are so shocked about this. Yeah, unpaid vacation for two days, you'll be fine. <sighs> anyway, so chat, today is going to be a pause day. Today is going to be a fun pause day. We're going to start by doing some experiments uh, on the uh, auto up charge, but mostly it's going to be de rusting a pause as a whole because um, I have two marathon runs of Wind Waker coming up in the near, near future. Uh, so because of that, I need to be on the top of my game because in a marathon run, I would not do the automatic up charge because I would want to go for consistency so i don't want to have a chance at actually splooshing so because of that um i'm gonna do experiments on the auto up charge but i'm also going to be getting more consistent in general um with my uh pauses but today is gonna be a very positive day you get it po po positive po positive no 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 chat no bad joke okay no, so you definitely want to go with an up left there. Okay. Definitely want to go with an up left. Speedrunning's allowing turbo. Minecraft allowing calculators. And when will they make task super swim allowed? No meme. I would be totally down if they allow task manual super swim and runs. I would be okay with that. Didn't Metroid Dread just allow turbo, actually? I'm pretty sure Metroid Dread just allowed the use of emulator and their speedruns. Let's try and hold up and slightly to the left. Still splooshes, but it's so close. Like, we're getting speed. It's just that we're splooshing. Notch controller to get proper angle. That would be sweet, but never allowed. <laughs> Can someone clip that? Can someone clip that? Huh? Holy shit. Did you guys see my speed there for a second? Look at the speed, Chad. All right. Okay. So look, 250. Look at the speed here. It went up to like 400 in like half a second. Oh, you can't see. Anyways, whatever. It went from like 250 to 400 in like a second, and then I lost it all. Holy crap, was that fast. Oh? Okay. Because I'm gonna clip that. Held 105. Uh, technically that would have been enough speed. Uh, I just wanted to see if I ever were going to sploosh. I just let it continue. Progress. Worked again. Okay. Okay, let me explain how this trick works, okay? So, how manual super sim works, right? Is that when you're staying, when you're in the water, you see in the top right I have zero units of speed. And every single frame I swim, I get three units of speed. So three... And then it goes all the way up to 18, right? So every single uh, every single frame that I swim, I gain three units of speed. So th that's three frames, four frames, five frames, six frames, and I'm at my top speed of 18 now, right? And every single time I turn around, if I turn around in the water, so I'm still, and then I turn around, I get negative three. If I turn around again, negative six, right? So if I continue to just turn around frame perfectly, my rhythm is so off. Anyway, so you can see I have like negative 12, right? Or the how the current manual super sum works, right? Is that you manual super sum up until you have close to 600 units of speed. If you go for a more risky up charge, you don't have to get exactly 600. But anyways, once you have enough speed, right? 
if you have target camera enabled and you hold up, uh, Link will go from the center of the screen to behind the camera in a single frame. Meaning that it will automatically charge the speed for you. So you can see right now that my speed is going up every frame, right? And that's because one frame is looking at this way, the next frame is looking the other way, etc. Right? So, now, here's where this new method comes into play. Here, you can clip inside of Beetle's barrel. This little thing right here. You can clip inside of this barrel right here if you have some speed. You can see right here, bam, I'm inside of Beetle's ship, right? And you can see that when the camera goes close to Link, do you see how, do you see what happens? That means that for the camera to be able to have to flip because you're going off screen, it doesn't require you to have to go as far. Does that make sense? Because since you're so close to the wall, right? I have to move such a small amount to actually turn around in a single frame. What that means is that I can actually get an automatic upcharge at a lower amount of speed than 600 if I get stuck in that in, in that barrel. It is, it is very precise, but that is what I'm testing right now. The sad thing that I think makes this the least consistent from how I'm understanding this trick to work, the thing that at least uh, what we think it is, or at least as your Bowser was born and people that looked into this more than I have, is that Beetle's boat moves. If you had this object on a stationary object on outset, it would be super poggers. Unfortunately, there's no stationary object that isn't moving in the ocean that you can clip into to do this. It is possible with chest storage, but we don't have chest storage. What are your thoughts on the rumored Wind Waker H2 release for the Switch this year? Listen, man, I have been saying Wind Waker H2 for Switch every single year, so I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm kind of copium about it, but if they do it, I'll be very happy. This trick is making me sad. I feel like I understand it better and better, but then I, at the same time, I feel like I don't understand it at all. I'm gonna go on a pause a break testing that strat. Let's see if I can actually, um, let's see if I can actually do a normal one. It's been a long time. Let's see if I can get back my consistency for this method. <clears throat> Speed glitch. Hey, I did not, I did not mismarket the stream. The title literally says pause the stream. <laughs> if anyone finds a consistent setup for this, I will give you the biggest kiss in the world. <laughs> Where's my pro controller? I'm gonna go pee quickly, and then I'm actually gonna move on from pasta for now. Uh, give me one second. Ugh. I am muted. <laughs> and I knew that. I just wanted to check if you guys knew that. But it seems like everybody knew that. Why did I go to Forsaken Fortress? Why did I go here? I don't want to go to Horny Jail. I would play a good amount of a Wind Waker HD rando for sure. I'd definitely play more than I currently play the SD versions rando. Bro, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Am I washed up? Again? Are you for real? I'm very confused. Huh? Whatever, it's not too slow if you miss the first one. If I miss the next one, it'll be bad.
That's my streamer. Now, for anyone that used to watch me play 100%, this is the ultimate test. Uh, where do you aim again? <laughs> I think you aim here. Around there. Uh, where do you aim here again? <laughs> okay, whatever. The first jump is not technically the, supposed to be the hard part. The part that I actually wanted to test was the, uh, was the forwards weird shot. This is what I actually wanted to test. What? First try? <laughs> Dude, why? <laughs> Let's check out the other risky uh, strat that we used to go for in the end of runs. You ready, Chad? Why? <laughs> Why am I getting all of these hard tricks right now? But I could never do them in runs. I'm gonna do the ultimate test if this game is scamming me or not. You ready, Chad? Do I have what? You cut your finger. I'm making potatoes and I cut the potato and I missed the potato. I made the I don't think I have either. All right. <sighs> I found band aids. <laughs> Did you have to amputate? Um, I don't blame her for wanting band aids because you don't want to like you know sp you know get blood anywhere. But I will say that was the smallest cut I've ever seen in my life. So, um, yeah, no, everything is fine. <laughs> I thought when she wanted disinfection that it was like a big cut. It's like, it was like if she got two paper cuts. Like, that's about what we were dealing with. We were dealing with about like a paper cut. So about the size of your pee pee then. Damn. <laughs> oh, chat, you got me. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine, Chad. I don't know why, but I got scared for a second when she came the first time downstairs and was like, I need help. And then when I saw the wound, that's when I lost interest. I was like, here we go. All right. So time to see if things have changed in the past year. I nailed both of the run killing glitches that I used to have in my 100% runs first try. So let's see how this goes. Here we go. Okay. Things are about as expected. Things are about what I expected. Damn. Well, we got crip shot. I was going for the double crip because I was risky. Or I was, uh, I was, um, I was greedy. Is this run, is this a run or just practice? It's kind of a dumb question because every run is practice until world record. True. Good take. You know, sometimes I miss this game and then I think about all of the things that can go wrong in this game and then I miss it slightly less. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do something for nostalgia. We are going to go for the original way that we had to use to beat this game when Barrier Skip was found, which is the Fairy Hover. The Fairy Hover has about a 1-2% chance of working. Entirely RNG. So let's do it, because what, what doesn't scream more fun than that? Sure, maybe I could hypothetically 
hookshot up there. But what's the fun in that? I had a fairy in my hand, in my bottle. Take two. All right, here we go, Chad. Get those blesses into Chad. Time for fun. This trick, if you doesn't, if you don't know, screams fun. No, so close. <laughs> so close. No. All right, I feel like warmed up and practiced enough to where I can at least complete some runs of Wind Waker tomorrow. I feel ready for tomorrow, chat. I feel ready for tomorrow's runs. Definitely gonna be no, it's definitely, probably not gonna get a PB, but I feel like we'll still do good. It's kind of weird to think about that this game is older than you, Link is. What? Hello? No, it's not. <laughs> what do you mean?